This is AI content creation. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to create a business plan with chat GPT. So let's get started. So first we need to come up with some uh, business ideas. If you already know what you're selling, then you're gonna already know the answers to this. But just for dem demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and just prompt uh, chat GPT, give me some um, business ideas, uh, products to sell and uh, 10 business names and then just push enter so it's going to go out there handmade jewelry artisan gems beaded uh, beauty handcrafted charms so we've got natural skincare products personalized gifts and a bunch of different stuff we can go with right let's go with the fitness equipment and accessories that sounds fun fitness fanatic sweet and shine um fit for life um you know i'm sure fit for life's already taken fitness fanatic um let's just go with that for now so let's just say we're going to go with fitness fanatic is going to be the name of uh, of our brand i'm going to go ahead and minimize this a little bit so we have a little bit more room to work with this is kind of the way that i like to work um, as well as like have a notepad over here on the right side um, and then you can uh, copy things down that you're going to save well, as you're using ChatGPT. Pretty cool stuff. Um, we know that the type of uh, business that we have is we're going to, uh, it's fitness equipment and uh, accessories. So we're going to uh, just say um, business type. I'm going to throw that in right there. And then we can come through and is there anything else? Okay. Those are just suggestions. Um, and then now what we can do is we can start coming up with some different prompts right now. So I'm going to go ahead. I have these already written and uh, we're going to fill in the blanks. I love these fill in the blank type prompts. You can um, basically uh, create prompts and then save them in a Google Doc and then you can use them. And all you have to do is just kind of, it would apply to anybody you're going to share them with. And all you have to do is just replace this. So the name of the company right here is uh, Fitness Fanatic. So we just come over here and throw that in right here. And then um, we say that sells uh, fitness equipment and accessories. We're going to go throw this in right here. And then the niche is, we're just gonna say fitness and wants to, uh, well, we wanna sell our products, right? And then we're gonna push enter. So we've just entered that in right there. So we just said, write a business plan for my business called Fitness Fanatic that sells fitness equipment and accessories uh, to fitness. Um, I should have put fitness people or something like that <clears throat> and wants to sell our products. So we're gonna come through here. Uh, we have an executive summary right here. Fitness Fanatic is a business that specializes in selling fitness equipment and accessories. Our mission is to provide high quality, durable and affordable products that can help individuals reach their fitness goals. Our target market is fitness enthusiasts and gym goers who are passionate about staying fit and healthy. Market analysis, so it's gonna give give us a market, market analysis. The fitness industry is growing rapidly and projected to reach 96 billion in the US by 2024. This growth is driven by the increasing awareness of the importance of fitness and health. So we would want to go and you could go and grab this and double check the numbers right there um, when it's going to give us like factual number based information. But so far, pretty good looking like a really good uh, business plan right here. Our target market consists of individuals who are passionate about fitness and exercise. This includes gym goers, blah, blah, blah. Product line. Our product line includes a wide range of fitness equipment and accessories such as resistance bands, yoga mats, weightlifting belts. Obviously right here, you're just going to change this to if it's just weightlifting or resistance bands, or if it's just, you know, whatever it's going to be, you can narrow it down and just put specifically what you are um, going for right there. And then you have a marketing strategy it came up with. Our marketing strategy will focus on building a strong online presence, which, uh, you know, in 2023, 2023, 24. That's exactly what you should be doing. Everything is online now uh, through social media platforms such as Instagram and Facebook. Um, you would add more, right? Uh, we could even prompt ChatGPT to tell us, give us more uh, social media platforms that we should be on, probably YouTube and so forth, TikTok as well. Uh, we'll, we'll also partner with fitness influencers and bloggers to promote our products and reach a wider audience. Additionally, we will attend fitness expos and events to showcase. I mean, that's a great marketing strategy. You know, right out of the box, we literally prompted with just this one sentence right here, write a business plan, and it just went to work, right? 
Our sales strategy will primarily focus on e-commerce through our website. So you could use Shopify or uh, WooCommerce from WordPress, all kinds of good stuff right there. You'll probably want to get on Amazon and eBay to sell your products as well. Um, and then have another, um, you know, your, your website as well, where you could do Facebook advertising and laser target uh, people that are into fitness. So uh, all kinds of good stuff, uh, financial project projections. We anticipate an initial investment of $50,000 for startup costs, including product and inventory, website development, marketing expenses, you know, and that might even be a low number. This might cost $100,000 to get going, uh, but certainly you can change that right there. Um, we expect to generate revenue of 500,000 in the first year and anticipate a 20% growth rate. Um, does it have a margin? Uh, our projected net profit is 150,000 uh, in the first year. So you can just take that um, 150,000 with the, um, $500,000 in revenue and the 50,000, um, you know, a startup investment. Um, and then you can go and plug that into a calculator and get your margin, um, your, so what your margin is, uh, based on your profit and your revenue. And then conclusion, fitness fanatic aims to provide high quality fitness equipment and accessories to help individuals. And there you go. So we've got this entire business plan. It looks really, really good with just minor adjustments that you would make for it. And you would have a nice, uh, plan right there, right? We can also go like this and grab another one like right here. I'm going to copy this one can take it a step further and I and say I want to reach goal with my company and I required uh, performance targets for my team. Please write an outline of quarterly milestones and roles accountable for each milestone. So let's just say that it's this business right here. So I want to reach, um, you know, I'm going to put right here. Uh, let's just say, and, and the fact that it's, um, please write an outline of quarterly milestones. So I want to reach uh, 500 uh, in revenue with my company. And it's going to apply it to what we just talked about. So I'm going to go ahead and go like that. Sure. Here's an outline of quarterly milestones and roles accountable for each milestone. So quarter one milestone increase customer acquisition by 20% roles, marketing team, develop and ex execute a comprehensive marketing plan that includes social media, email campaigns, and online advertising. So like, this is where you would, what, how you would be starting up a business and running an actual business if you were actually starting this real business up, right? And then quarter two, milestone increase average order uh, value by 15%. So sales team, upsells, cross sells, additional. So you might want to throw in some, you know, if you're selling some fitness equipment, you might want to throw in some uh, fitness clothing or fitness weightlifting gloves or the weightlifting belt or uh, water bottles, anything that you could increase the average order by 15% by giving discounts and offering upsells. Super, super good stuff. Uh, product uh, team develop new products uh, or product bundles that encourage customers to purchase more. See, there you go. Product bundles. If you buy three items or more, you then you get this percentage and then you, you're you going to have all that calculated to where you're still going to come out profitable. Marketing team create targeted promotions and discounts. Um, incentivize. Then we have our quarter uh, three milestone increase customer ret retention by 25% and then quarter four milestone increase online sales by 30%. So you're just going to go a full attack to get more sales to get this. Overall, the entire team is accountable for achieving the revenue target of $500,000 each quarter's milestones should be broken down into specific, measurable, achievable, relevant. And of course, this could be millions of dollars you're talking about right here. This is just an example. But these are some really, really good prompts that you can use in your business plan and your marketing plan. We could also do another one right here real quick. I've got just a, a couple more for you. Um, we're going to paste this in, write a specific, measurable and attainable goals for the company. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this entire thing in right here. Um, I'm just going to say uh, fitness fanatic. And it's already going to know exactly what Fitness Fanatic is um, using the OKR framework. Boom. So here we go. Objective one, increase customer acquisition. Uh, key result, increase website traffic by 20% in Q quarter one. So now we've got all these objectives and key result, key result two, key result three, and you so forth. So you can see how awesome this can get, these OKRs are specific, measurable, and attainable, and they align with the company's overall goal of reaching 500,000 in revenue. Each key result is broken down into a specific metric and a timeline for achievement. By focusing on customer acquisition, retention, product expansion, and online sales, Fitness Fanatic can achieve its revenue target and continue to grow its business. 
And then finally, the last one, we can also go and go at it a different way. So the company, uh, the insert, the vision, well, we can go back up and we can grab one of the visions. Um, and before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, say, um, give me three vision statements based on all the above. And we have some vision statements right here. And then we can go and grab that last prompt that I wanted to go over right over here. And we can grab one of these. So to be the leading provider of high quality fitness equipment and accessories empowering individuals. Um, so let's just go with that one. That sounds fine. So we're gonna go copy this vision, but it gave us some really nice visions. Um, and then we're gonna go and just plug this in right here inside the brackets and we're gonna push enter. And here we go. Here's a smart goal based on the provided vision statement objective become the leading provider and key results increase market share by 20% within the next three years, achieve a customer satisfaction rating of 90%, launch at least three new and innovative and sustainable product lines each year, increase revenue by 30% annually, uh, and then you have your deliverables. And then this SMART goals includes the most important outcomes and deliverables ne necessary to achieve the vision and becoming the leading provider of high quality fitness equipment and accessories, blah, 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 blah. So as you can see, these prompts, you can go back and just write down the prompts um, and save them for yourself. These prompts are great for uh, business planning. And this video was how to create a business plan with ChatGPT. You can see how awesome it is, how fast it creates it for you, and how it will save you a bunch of time in your business or your future business. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to AI Content Creation so you can get more great ChatGPT prompting. And uh, I will be sharing a lot of other AI softwares in the future with you. See you next time.